This is my blood, which was shed for you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Psalm 105. He sent Moses his servant, and Aaron, whom he had chosen. He showed signs amongst them. He sent darkness. He turned their waters into blood. He slew their fish. He brought frogs, diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain, flaming fire in their land. He smote their vines. He spake and the locusts came. He did eat up all the herbs in their land. He smote also the firstborn. None of these were able to release the children of Israel. But in Exodus 11 verse 1, the Lord said unto Moses, Yet I will bring one more plague upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards, he will let you go. The blood is the last card. One more plague on the enemy. And after that, there will be no more talking. So today, the blood of Jesus is the last card God has to rescue you from the works of the devil. Stand to your feet. Hold your bread in your hand. Let this body of Christ perform miracles as the Lamb of God. The Lamb performed miracles in Egypt and released an entire nation. May you be released from captivity through the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world the body of Jesus Christ and now the blood wherever you have been to dirty your feet this blood will cleanse you whatever your tongue has spoken that it shouldn't have spoken this blood will cleanse it whatever grievous sins you have committed which is bringing on you a grievous curse the blood of Jesus is the last card for your rescue may the blood of Jesus speak for you and may your soul be exchanged and bought and redeemed by this precious blood. You will not die prematurely because of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Lift your hands for your blessing. Father, thank you. You said, thus shall we bless the people. Let your face shine upon your people. Amen. Say amen. amen. Let your face smile toward everyone listening, everyone here, everyone present. Every angry face, Lord, that you have toward us, let it turn around. And let your face not be an angry face Amen. toward us. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whatever sins you have made, sin you have committed, may God's anger be turned away from you today. Amen. Let his countenance be raised up on you. Amen. The Lord keep you the Lord protect you Amen. from every form of ambush Amen. every form of surprise Amen. every form of unexpected event Amen. that is heading your way Amen. anything that is coming on the sea is coming by air is coming by land is coming by train 
is coming by car to surprise you is blocked in the name of Jesus. Let me hear your loudest amen. I command a blessing to be in you and upon you and upon your family. Whatever you lack because of your family background, may this blessing cause you to rise up into what you couldn't possess because of your family. In the name of Jesus. Anyone here who belongs to a family that has never traveled abroad before. No member of your family has gone abroad before. May that curse be broken in the name of Jesus. May that curse be broken in the name of Jesus. I declare you a traveler. I see you in Asia. I see you in Europe. I see you in Africa. I see you in America. I see you in South America. Become a traveler by the power of God in the name of Jesus. This week, your appointment, your interview, your meeting, it will go well. It will go well. It will go well. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has frightened you and scared you in the past, it has no more power to frighten you in the name of Jesus. You are free from your fears. The Lord delivers you today from your fears in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hand on your heart. Receive the love of God. Say, I say, receive the love of God. Receive the love of God. Receive the healing of God. Receive the peace of God. Receive the power of God in the name of Jesus. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. God bless you.